Hello guys, this is Carrie from Artstitution and today we are going to paint a simple landscape. Um, so I have my egg carton here. I just did, uh, I just painted a painting before this so I actually have all the colors. But for today, we're just gonna use black, white, and blue. So you only need black, white, and blue in your tray. So I'm using um, a 12 by 12 canvas. So if you bought a color box, your color box should have come with uh, two 12 by 12 canvases. So that's what we're using. If you have a different size canvas, that's absolutely fine. Um, if it's a, a rectangle, that's absolutely fine too. Um, just use up your space, just you have to adjust the composition. And yeah, well, let's get started. So for today, I am going to be having, I'm going to be using um, this medium flat brush. I'm gonna be using a small round brush, so these two brushes. At any point, if you guys wanna use different brushes, feel free, I'm just showing you what I use. So I, I mix, I do all my mixing with this middle brush just because this tiny one annoys me. I can't ever scoop out enough paint. And of course, when we use the big brush here, you know, when you mix with this big brush, um, you get all the paint on the plate and all the paint on the brush and then you have nothing left to paint with. So I like this one, it's like a happy medium. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to mix a nice gray color. Um, and it doesn't have to be the same gray I have. Uh, there's gonna be lots of grays in here, so we're just gonna get a base gray. So we're gonna start off with white. So let's do four scoops of white. Okay, and then we're just gonna add one scoop of black into it and then mix up. Mix, mix, mix. All right, I'm gonna actually add a little bit more white. All right, so you want like a nice medium gray color. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we are going to use this brush and just paint the background Okay, we're gonna do our first coat. Let's just put, we're gonna put an imaginary, an imaginary grid, okay? If we're gonna divide this, so I just put like a wet mark right across. We're gonna divide this canvas into quarters, okay? So if we have an imaginary line down here, an imaginary line here, it just helps you with the composition. So if this is halfway across and the water's a little bit further than that, and this is halfway across, let's just put a, a line here. Let's just say that's gonna be the horizon line. Does your line have to be there? Absolutely not. So we're gonna paint in all the top. This is only our first layer, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about the color. Don't, we're just getting paint on there. Nice and thin, because we're gonna get, we're gonna make multiple layers. Hope everybody's doing good. This landscape's a bit different than what I usually do. Actually, I had a request for this, or something similar to this. This is sort of my version of what they sent me. So, um, yeah, I hope you like it. <laughs> so fill it all in. And all my paintings can be done with whatever colors you guys want. So. If you know you want something to go in a certain room, match something, just ad adjust the colors accordingly. You could always, you know, Facebook message me or Instagram message me or text me or whatever, email me uh, if you have any questions about anything. And of course, subscribe to our channel because that'll help us continue doing what we love to do, bring you guys as many free lessons as we possibly can and hopefully we'll be painting with everybody again soon if you're if it's like five years from this day and this pandemic was just a history then that's good but right now we're all stuck in our houses during the coronavirus so just to give you a little background on when this is taking place I don't even know the date, April 7th. Sounds good. All right, so go all the way across, make sure there's no pools of paint anywhere. All right. We're gonna let that dry. We're gonna do the bottom. All right. 
here's where we're gonna get the blue involved. So you'll see too when I do my, whenever I do a, a copy of my own painting, I never and because we're mixing, uh, we're constantly mixing. My colors always are, they always kind of vary. So don't feel like you're doing something wrong. If the colors aren't the same, really, everybody's gonna come up with different colors. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make, let's do two scoops of black and four scoops of blue. So what we want is like a nice, deep, dark, navy blue. So when you, when you put those two together, you're gonna get like a really dark, dark pile. And we will use a dark, dark color like this, but not till the very end. The very end is when we go, we do the highlight, the high highlightiest and the dark, darkest. I made that word up, highlight, high highlightiest. Anyway, pull some white into there. Okay, maybe a scoop. It's like adding creamer to coffee. It's gonna make it nice and nice milky color. All right. So what we're gonna do with this color is we're actually going to go right across. Don't worry about all the white. Oh, I keep banging the camera, sorry. Don't worry about all those gleams and glistens just yet. We'll get to that. Just go right across and right down. And keep your paint nice and thin because we're gonna hop from section to section. So, and take your time because we're actually letting the top dry right now and that's what we want. We want the top to dry. So take your time, enjoy this time. I have my candles lit, I have my incense burning, I have my tea and my LaCroix. I am comfortable. That's the key, you wanna get comfortable. And people get comfortable in different ways. So if you're standing on your head, that's okay. Painting on your head, that's cool. If you like to stand rather than sit, then that's cool too. Everybody's different, but you want to be as comfortable as possible, and then you'll do your best work that way. Sorry if the camera's shaking. I, it's so close to my back that I'm just trying to get as close as possible to the canvas. All right, so I want you to take the brush and just go way all the way across. Don't worry about that. If that line's perfect, that does not matter right now or ever. All right. So um, I like to do my edges. You don't have to do your edges. I think it looks better when you hang it on the wall cleaner. I like to do my bo the bottom too, even though nobody sees it. I just know it's there, and I, if it's white, I just knowing will annoy me. So if you're the kind of person who needs to paint that in, paint it in. If you're the kind of person who doesn't care because nobody will see it, then don't paint it in. All right. So this is going to be our foundation of our whole painting. All right. And as you can see, mine is a lot bluer here than that. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna build and build and build on this. So I want that bottom to be dry, so I want you to wash that brush off. And this painting could be done in any color scheme, and I totally, look at that, I splattered paint on my own painting. Nice. All right, so wash that off, dry that off. We're gonna go back up now, see I have that gray that we used. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of blue. And I'm actually gonna make myself some more because I don't have enough. I want more up there. I don't wanna to have to be ghost painting, which is like digging at your plate until you, you know, miraculously somehow more paint gets made, which never actually happens. All right, now we're going up here and we're gonna do our second coat. So all I did was add a touch of blue to my first color. 
go up there. So I want you to take your time because we're actually letting the bottom dry. And I want you to start thinking, now that we're doing our second coat, start thinking about those mountains, okay? What shape you want those mountains. And again, they don't have to be the same shape as mine. Mine certainly aren't gonna be the exact same shape as my, you know, my original. I know I, I sound like a broken re record, but you know, we don't want these all to look the same, okay? That's not what this is about. This is just me choosing a painting t to teach you guys stuff. And then you can go, when you feel comfortable, you can go and paint. Now, you don't have to copy a painting. You know, you'll have the confidence to, you know, make stuff up. I'm just gonna go up here. And again, keep it thin. And, you know, when, I, when we do this live, when I have a big class in front of me, I love it because at the end, everybody shows their work to each other and, you know, it's really cool because everybody sees everybody else's interpretation of the same thing. And that's all this really is, is people's interpretation. And it's, I love it. It's beautiful. I know it's corny, but I'm very corny. And I'm gonna do this, the edges one more time. Even the second coat is thin. And even the, the edges, you know, also bide me some time for the bottom to dry. This one's a quick one, so there's not, we're not spending as much time on each side. So I jump from uh, space to space. So when I go, we're gonna go up here and work while the bottom dries, and we're gonna go on the bottom and wait for the top to dry, that sort of thing. All right, so the bottom's still tacky. I see that it's still tacky. So what we're gonna do instead is work on the top a tiny bit. So all I want you to do is dip your head, your paint your head, dip your head in the white, dip your paintbrush in the white, and I just want you to start kind of, you don't need a whole lot of paint, but I want you to start messing around, going back and forth with some white in here. Just have fun. You can use your paintbrush horizontally, vertically, you can hold it. You could hold it this way or, or this way. If you if you hold it this way, you get more of a sharp line. If you hold it this way, you get more of, of a thick line. But I want you to start putting some white going across. Okay. This part's very therapeutic. I think it's very therapeutic anyway. And you can go back also to your original gray color. You can go, you can go down, and do go down and across. So it's like cross hatching. It's not almost like it totally is cross hatching. <laughs> and you can put as much or as little as you want. And there, just don't forget. There, there's going to be mountains down here, so don't you know. Your focus should be more up on top. I hope you guys have your music on. Music sounds weird. Well, first of all, I can't figure out how to play my iTunes and take a video at the same time. I'm sure there's like an answer to that, but I'm so like not tech savvy even though my like eight year old probably tell me how to do it. But not only that is, uh, it's that it's, I don't want it to compete with whatever music you have. So choose the appropriate music, create your ambiance, your ambiance. And yeah, chill, get comfy. So I'm gonna go this way. So I'm gonna chat with you guys and pretend like you know you're actually people because I haven't actually spoken to another adult face to face in like three weeks. But uh, I hope everybody's gonna have a really nice Easter. Um, it's gonna be different than any other Easter in your lifetime. 
Um, we're going through something historical right now, so it's definitely a lot to take in at the moment, but I think when this is all said and done, we're going to be part of history, and I really do think that the world is going to be changing for the better, ultimately, even though it doesn't really seem like it right now. I really do feel like it will. So I hope everybody's continuing to work, and if they aren't working, at least enjoying free time, because when this is over, I think everybody's going to be even busier than before, just trying to catch up. But I think this will be like the first Easter. I, I, I'm like stress-free. All I have to do is really hang out with my kids and feed them. I mean, I can't even make a big dinner because there's nobody to eat it. So that's cool. Maybe we'll have hot dogs. They would not object. All right, so keep going with this guy. I keep, I'm really sorry I keep hitting that phone. So really, this is about you getting to where a place where you are happy with it. I ran out of paint, but I am actually gonna mix a little bit of a darker color now, a little bit darker than my original color, uh, just a tad. And I'm actually gonna go mix that in as well. Just give it, actually you can't really see that, it's not at all darker. Try that again. There we go. So you can cross hatch and just keep going back and forth. So the darker kind of gives it a little bit more depth. And it gives it texture, which is cool. I like the sky because it's like all textury and neat. And there's really no formula to it. It's just kind of a technique. And what's cool about it is like, if you ever get to a point where you're like, eh, I have too much, just go back with the other color and go back over it. Like I put a big old blob of uh, dark paint right in the middle. But I'll probably have mountains over these anyway, but you know, just have fun going back and forth from color to color. Until, well, you know, until you're happy with it. And really only you know when it's done. It doesn't have to be done now. You can always go back later and do more. And you can always make darker colors or lighter colors. And really, like I said before, I'm really just biding time for the bottom half to dry. hear weird noises in the back. My dog is scratching herself and walking around. I swear that's what it is. I'm not scratching myself. Well, that's a lie. I was just, I did just get bit by a bug, so I might. That's a good sign. Spring's here. It's one good thing about it. It's you get bit. Yay. And look at those poison ivy. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, I think I'm good for now. And I think the bottom is dry. Alrighty then, then I bang the camera. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more black to this below the bottom just to make it a little bit more on the gray side. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of white 
just do a sec. I like to have my big glob of my original color, and then I like to kind of go off in sections. So I still have my original color, but then I mess around. I added just a little bit of white to that. So I still have my original. And we're just going to go over that again. Okay. So the second coat's going to really cover nicely. And the reason why I like to add white is because it it just covers much better. It makes it gives it more like a milky tone. But again, keep it nice and thin so it dries. Work on the water. This is a nice beginner painting. And I'm running out, so I need to add more white to this. But hey, that's okay. All right. so just go back and forth. Make sure it's all smooth. No pools anywhere. All right. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is all, all we're gonna do is dip our brush into the white and we're just gonna kind of dab it. I know it's, it's dirty with the blue, so that's what we want. We're gonna turn, we're gonna flatten it this way, okay? On our plate. And we're gonna turn it this way, okay? And all we're gonna do is start going this way with the brush. We're gonna start putting our water, our um, shine of a, uh, I don't know if the sun's coming up or down, I have no idea. Hey, you know what, that's up to you. Get more white. As you come down here, it's gonna be whiter. But don't worry, it's still wet, so you won't be able to get too much lighter as long as that's wet. As long as we, we kind of get that first kind of stream in, and I want you to kind of, see I'm going back and forth very randomly. I hope you can see this. Try to use a little bit more paint. I want it to be very, very random. When you start getting into like a pattern with nature, it just doesn't look like it's natural. So as long as you can see something, we're gonna let this dry for now. So we'll let this dry, we'll go up to our mountains. All right, so we're gonna take the same color that we were just using down here, but we're gonna lighten it up, okay? So we want it not too light, but definitely light enough to see. So we might have to kind of, yeah, that's too light. Test it out, because we're doing the mountains in the background, but you don't want them too intensely dark, okay? So we're gonna come and do the mountains, and then we're gonna have this valley in here, and then mountains again. Okay. Now, is my shape exactly like my shape there? No. Okay. So we're gonna fill that in. So this color is just that that original color with a little bit of white. And, you know, again, my color is not the same as that color because this, this color has a bit more blue in it. And that's, that's fine with me. If you don't like that, you could just add more black. So it's less blue, more gray. So 
so keep it thin because we're actually going to put another mountain on top of that. All right, so I'm going to switch my letters. You can totally, if you feel like you're, it's hard to reach in some spots, just flip your, your canvas over. Don't worry about that line, getting that line perfect. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff to that, so don't worry about it. Not necessary right now. So see how this color is a, just a tad lighter than that watercolor, that original watercolor? That's what we want. Just a tad. And all it is is adding a little bit of white to that, that original color. See how I'm like really stretching out the paint. Okay. So add, you know, add mountains anywhere you want. You know, if you want it more mountainous, mountainous, mountainous mountainous. When you're done filling them all in, you can go back and make them more mountainous. Again, make sure there's no pools anywhere, pools of anything. All right, so now, now we're gonna go back with that original color. So now you need, now you need that color. So we're just gonna put another row of mountains. So it only needs to be a tiny bit darker. See, so barely noticeable. Even if you have to add more blue and black to make it noticeable, you could do that. I'm going to make mine a tad more noticeable so you could see. But you don't want too much of a variation on these two. Okay, maybe you could see better if I do that. Look through the camera, make sure you can see. Same thing over here. And I know now, now we're really kind of building up the paint, so keep it thin, as thin as you can. And then just have it disappear in the middle here. Okay. Wash that brush. So now that it has a lot of paint up there, so let's leave that. And let's move on to down here. So now we're gonna take white, and it's all we're all mixing with the same blue pile. So we're gonna mix a tiny bit of, of that blue color in with the white. So get a nice and light color. And what we're gonna do, again, is we're gonna flatten it, flatten it. If your brush is too gooey, wash it. We're gonna use it this way, okay? So now we're really gonna separate the horizon line. But you also don't want your brush to be too gooey because we want to kind of, we kind of want to dry brush a little bit. See how, you want to always keep this, these lines horizontal. So if you start going this way and it looks funny, that's why. So keep it nice and horizontal. And you can go, you can go, you know, you don't have to follow my pattern. You can make it go out as far as you want. And, in as far as you want, but just keep it horizontal. And we're going to do many more highlights, so don't. This isn't your only app, only time. So I just want you to practice here. And when you come down here, here's where you're going to want you to kind of put more highlights.
And you should still have some of your original color if you want to blend that in too to help it move, it move it along, stretch it out. Up to you. But I really want you to start seeing the lighter parts under here. And again, this isn't, we're going to build up, so this isn't your only, these aren't your only highlights. We're going to go back into it. I keep running a lighter, that light, this lighter color. If you squint your eyes, it's going to be easier for you to see the lights and the darks. So try, try squinting your eyes. Okay. And you'll see. So a lot of about painting is being, just being aware. It doesn't mean that you have to put everything in the same spots or anything like that. It's just being aware. So put some of these, see the, all the variations of the lights and the darks? That's what we want, okay? Now remember, all this color is, is black, white, and uh, blue. Okay, and it's just using different variations of black, white, and blue. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I want, you don't even need to wash your brush. You're gonna take, I'm mixing more of the black, that, that base color. So put, mix some, I'd say four, double the amount of blue than black, okay? And then you'll get this dark color, but I still want you to add some white to it, just to make it milky. Okay, so, now I have my, back to my original color. All right, so, now that I have that, let's see. Um, Let's add a little bit more, let's make this darker, a little bit more black and a little bit more blue. So now we're gonna, we're gonna gradually go darker. So really all it is is adding less white, okay? And you might have to test it out, okay? So once I have this darker color, and we're gonna go darker than this, I'm gonna dry brush, so don't, you know, you should take some of the paint off and I want you to just, with this darker color, I just want you to start bringing it in on the edges, like this. Put some in here. All this painting is, is a bit variations of lights and darks. That's it. Okay? There's no, no craziness to it. So, um, while we're doing this, I want you to kind of go up here and start putting in the land up above the water, okay? And we're gonna, we're, we're at, it's not gonna be like a solid mountain like the ones up above where. Instead, you're just gonna kinda like brush it until it, until it go, until it blends into that mountain, okay? So it's almost like that, this mountain it gets darker as it goes down. So that's all that is. And here, do the same thing. Just get rid of that line. Just smooth it out. Same thing when you go over here. You're going to just kind of gradually... I don't want to see a solid line over here. I just want to see it, the transition, be nice and blended. All right, cool. The reason why I don't want to see a line there is because eventually there's going to be trees up there, and I don't want to see a line through the trees. All right, so finally on this side, we're going to do some darks. And don't worry, we're gonna go back with the lights too, so. Okay. Just 
make sure it's evened out with the other side. So we're going to let the top dry a bit. And while we do that, I want to, so I'm going to put my painting that way. So remember the cross hatching we did um, at the top? We're going to do something similar at the bottom. And we're going to, I, I washed and dried my brush just because I like to start with like a nice fresh palette and we're dry brushing. So I'm going, you don't need a whole lot of paint, okay? So start off light. I'm going to kind of go up like this. Not too far. Just make some faint lines going this way. Okay. Try not to make them all the same size. Make them kind of random. Feel free to to turn your brush this way. You want to make more of a pointy stroke. This for like a fatter stroke. Just play around. And we're going to play with that for a little bit. And then you can kind of you can put it to the side and kind of do some brush strokes that way if you want. You can put it back here so you can see what it looks like. Oops, sorry, I keep bumping into you back there. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the original blue and make it a little bit lighter. So remember at the top we had the light, medium, and darks? We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna kind of cross hatch with the light lights in the dark, so. Just go slow. This kind of, I feel like this kind of evens it out, evens the top and the bottom out, because you have this beautiful, smooth, Thing in the, going on in the middle, then you have this cool texture on the bottom and the top. And you know, I would I would glance at the original and then kind of go off and do your own thing. And you know, make lights and darks. You know how to you know how to mix them now. So you do it at at your leisure. Again, you can switch to this angle. You want it just nice and smooth. Okay, and again, like you just keep going until you're done. And there's never a point where you you can not go back and, you know, add more. So what I want you to do now, I'm not even gonna wash my brush, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go back with the dark and kind of put some darks, just hints of little waves in here. And then I'm gonna go very lightly, put some lines coming down here. And if you wanna wipe your brush off with a cloth to make it feathery, more feathery, they almost look like ghost trees. That's how I felt when I was actually painting them. Don't go crazy, go little bits at a time, all different sizes. Okay, because these are actually going to be the reflection of the trees up here. But the trees up there are going to be darker, so that's why we're going to, while we still have our, this color out, we're going to use this color. And then do the 
the same thing on the other side. I hope everybody is feeling good. Now that parks are closed, I think it's really important that everybody has an outlet of some sort, whether it be running, painting, some hobby, take your mind off things. Definitely now's the time. You can go back and forth like this if you want to. Now that that's there, now we're going to take some light. Let's see how we do it on time. Beep, I can't even see. I don't know. I like it doesn't really matter. All right. And now we're going to take pure white, and I want you to kind of go across. See, that's a lot of white. So go across. that you barely need any white, okay? And you're just gonna kinda make your highlights here. Right down the middle. And then when you get to, you can always go back and you, you can do, you know, you can go to town with the highlights as far as you want. When you get to here, I just want little tiny ripples. Little tiny ripples in here too. Little tiny random ripples. Random ripples. Same over here. Random. See how light that is? All right, you can go, again, as far into that as you want. Make as many ripples as you want. These guys want it to be some ripples, nice and bright white. Okay. So, again, if you want to do some more accents here to even out with the ripples, do that. Just get it to where you like it because we're going we're gonna to get into a dark darks now. Actually, before we do that, before we do that, if you have any of the background color left, add some white to it, and you're gonna do the whitest white up here. Because I think the sun, or something went down or went up, came up, I don't know. I want you to put, there we go. I think you can see that better if it's darker. Very light. Okay, go slow. And you can make that as bright as you want. If you want to go back with the white, kind of just make that brighter. I mean, it's up to you. This is your painting. So there, I made that a little bit brighter than I had there, so you could see. But see the variations, like the colors aren't the same, does it matter? No. Are the mountains exactly the same? Does it matter? No. So wash that brush off. So now we're gonna get into the, the dark darks. 
So it looks like it's black, but it's not black. So we're going to again do the blue with black mixture. Okay. And we're still going to add a little bit of white, but not very much. And the blue-black mixture is totally, completely up to you how blue or how black you want it. And this darkest color here, it's just going to be darker than all your darks. That's all. Okay, so you can test it. Okay, so mine probably could be darker. Because I can't really see it. So sometimes you've got to mix and then try it out on your canvas. Mine's going to be way darker. Almost black. The reason why I don't just use straight up black is because it, it's just a little too contrasty. Now I hope that you can see this. So we're just going to, again, do this kind of like fake mountain. I say fake, but it's just because it has no top. So just put something there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to you can either take this small brush, twist it, and again, we want that dry brushy feel, so we're going to kind of go up, but you don't need a lot of paint. So in order to get that chalky look, you kind of got to take the paint off. And I just want you to have fun, make trees. And you know what? You might feel better going down, but just remember, in the middle, they're smaller. Well, that's if you're doing it the way I'm doing it. I feel kind of better going down. Just make sure that they're kind of straight. It's hard to tell. It's hard to get a feel for it when you're, it's upside down. But also, they're, these are the reflections of your trees. So take a look at you know. If you're gonna use your pinky, just make sure it's somewhere where it's not wet. Just kind of match the trees that are in your reflection. And then as you get to the middle, you can make faint little trees, little short trees. to be definitely try to be random with it if you can I know it's hard to get into this like repetitive pattern try to stay away from that oop I hit you again and then if this looks too much like it's you know not blended you could just go back and blend blend it in And take your time with this part. You know, this is really the ending of our painting. So I want you to really use your time to make it exactly the way you like it. And again, like, don't try not to, to go too fast. I think sometimes people just rush and then, you know, it doesn't come out the way they want and then they get disappointed because they rushed, but. Okay. And you're actually going to, I want you to put some, some darks, not a whole lot, down here. Sort of like the ripple thing that we did. I want you to do just on the edges here. So we're going to do the same thing on this side.
in, you know, when at the end, when we're all kind of finished, then you can go back and kind of uh, go back into any parts of the painting you want to and, and adjust them. That's what I always do at the end. So I'll see how I'm like feathering this out so it's not like an abrupt line. I'll do the same thing with the trees over here. straight lines. Don't forget to look at your reflective reflections. These are like little trees that are going back into the distance. Right. I'm a little tree happy, so I know I always go overboard with my trees. That's why I always tell you guys, like, just, I get it. Like, I overzealous sometimes. I'm like, wee. And I end up like having 10,000 trees and I feel like there's too many, but. All right, so you keep going. Um, the last thing we're gonna do with that dark color is make these little birds. And honestly, they're just these, okay? And some of them I made with the V up and some of them I made flapping down. So I did a few birds, but I flapped, I made like an upside down V, okay? And again, don't feel like you have to put them where I'm putting them. Feel free to put them wherever you want. Obviously, the bigger they are, the closer they are. All right. Make your little adjustments. And as you can see, my original is a bit different than this one. I mean, you might look at it and say, well, not really, but it is. I mean, well, I can see it. And that's good because there's only one of these. So, and there's only one of yours. So take this time now to kind of go back if you want to make things brighter, darker, whatever. If I'm making my, I think I'm gonna, I went, I took a risk here and I thought maybe can make it a little brighter here just to show you the variation you can go back and make it you know put some more highlights in here really it's your painting so it's done when you say it's done so thank you again for joining me um and uh yeah happy painting stay safe guys bye